Hey guys, welcome to another video. This is my official prepping for Europe video. I am leaving for Europe on Thursday and today is Monday, so T minus four days till I leave, which is insane and I'm so excited. I have so much to do and not gonna lie, I've been feeling a little bit stressed, a little bit overwhelmed today. Just trying to figure out everything I need to do before I leave and also just the errands I need to run, what I need to bring with me, how I'm gonna pack, just all of the things. And I also have a few brand deals to shoot before I leave, so I've been feeling a little bit overwhelmed as it's Monday morning, but it's gonna be okay. I actually got ready for once today. I just felt like putting makeup on would make me feel a little bit more put together, that I could be productive. Um, but I'm gonna take you guys along for each day until I leave on Thursday. Our flight on Thursday is at 8 p.m. So I actually technically have like the morning and the early afternoon on Thursday to do some like last minute packing if I need to. But yeah, it's 3 p.m. right now and I'm headed to the mall because I'm going to get cash for my trip. So that's really important. I'm going to the currency exchange place to get pounds and euros because I'm going to London, Paris, and Provence. And then what else what else i got this pair of reeboks i'm gonna show you guys this is them they're called the club c double what are they called yeah, Club C Double Revenge in the black and white and they're actually like a bit platform too and they're so cute. I literally saw this TikToker wear them and I bought them immediately. I wanted them so bad. I have to exchange this pair because it's too small for me. So I'm gonna do that as well at the mall. Do a double whammy, get the cash, return these shoes, get that done and off my list. So let's go to the mall. <laughs> I kind of like this angle, kind of good. So I went to the mall and I returned my pair of shoes which was super easy and then I was waiting in line for the currency exchange place for so long and then when I got there finally I couldn't actually get the transaction working because I think my card limit is pretty low. So I couldn't even get the amount that I wanted to get. So I'm at my bank now and I had to change the plan there and try to get this done. I'm going in now. They close at 5. It's 4.30 right now. So let's go get that done and out of the way. I'm glad that I returned the shoes though. So that was, that was really good. everybody it is 10 a.m. and today is a big laundry day I want to have fresh sheets when I get back and that's like kind of a pro tip slash like just something that'll make you feel really good when you come home washing your bedding so that you come home to fresh sheets I feel like that is gonna be a game changer and it's gonna feel so good when I get back to be back in my own bed with fresh sheets and just for my room to feel clean the goal today is to clean up and to somewhat start packing or get an idea of like what I want to bring so I'm also gonna be doing laundry for my clothing but first step is just stripping the bedding I am going to start with my clothing though so that if there's anything that needs to be hung to dry I can have at least a day to get that dried and then also so, so that it can be packed in a few days so that's the goal and then I'm gonna put my bedding in I also need to go back to the bank today because they didn't have the cash that I needed so they said they could have me for me today so that is like a priority on the list and I'm gonna get that done as soon as possible today as well This is my first outing wearing these new Reeboks that I bought and let me tell you they are probably gonna be my summer shoe they are so comfy and I love the platform and I feel like they look so cute with jeans I am obsessed with them cash secured Woo. okay I'm home now and I've just been folding some laundry and stuff but I got the most exciting package ever. PR from Wildflower. I am absolutely shook. Like I have been a, such a huge fan of Wildflower for years and I would literally save up my money to buy their cases. Like this is the one that I have right now on my phone that I'm obsessed with. But I, I would actually 
save up my money to buy these cases and just the fact that they're actually sending me cases is incredible <laughs> and so exciting i actually chose this one out which i'm obsessed with i'll probably put this one on my phone right now and then this really cute little baby fox with a moon like that's so cute and then a little camera lens protector and it's like sparkly i actually love that but thank you so much wildflower this is a dream i'm obsessed and i'm gonna be changing out my phone case like right now Good morning, you guys. It is the next day. It's Wednesday, the day before I'm leaving, and everything is coming together. I actually slept over at Brandon's house tonight, or last night, I mean, because I will not be seeing him until I leave, so I had a little sushi date with him last night, and now we're back to business. I'm home. I actually just opened up my Mono luggage that I'm gonna be bringing with me as my check-in bag, and it looks stunning. I got the Stellar White. I got the Stellar White color, and it's so, 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 so nice. They also sent over a cover for me to use. It's over here. So that'll be really nice because I was a little bit worried about the white getting damaged as a check-in bag because, you know, they're pretty brutal throwing the bag around like at the luggage claim and all that stuff. So that's kind of laid out. I actually have not packed anything yet. So tonight, that is the goal. I actually have to film a collab for monos because they sent this to me for a collab so i'm gonna be filming myself packing tomorrow and so i'm gonna kind of show myself putting all of the stuff into the luggage tomorrow and that'll be my collab video going up on instagram but i do have another collab going up with versed and i'm filming that in the washroom right now it's gonna be a little teaser video for their body lotion that's being launched so i'm filming that right now kind of like a reset my bathroom space type of video which is fun so i'm doing that and then I'm meeting up with Genevieve in a few hours to get some coffee and then also get some toiletries or like little minis of products if I need. So I'm gonna check out London Drugs and see if there's anything last minute that I need to bring with me. Otherwise, I feel like I'm good. But yeah, let me show you guys a little behind the scenes of me filming my Versed collab. This is my outfit for just at home right now. Brandy always for my loungewear. They have the best basics. Little white tank top with some lace trim. And then these wide leg sweatpants that I'm obsessed with. I'm always wearing these. And they're this light gray color. So I'm going to wear this also in my video that I'm going to film right now. in London drugs and getting some minis right now for traveling. This is Genevieve. Hi. Have you been in my vlogs? Yes, actually probably like I think a long I, time yeah, ago yeah, though yeah. because when we did yeah. a bunch of stuff. We did, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know Genevieve if you watch my YouTube channel months ago. Yeah. But I'm just getting some Listerine mouthwash and toothpaste. That's I think all I need. And we're thinking about maybe going to Earl's happy hour too. Why that not? could be good. Yeah, could be really good. Genevieve decided that she wanted this pot, so now we're gonna have to walk back to the car with it. But it's yeah. fine. It's really cute. It's very cute. I love it. Yeah. So yeah. Did you get any minis? Did you actually get the deodorant too? I'm okay. gonna get the deodorant. Okay. Yeah. Cute. Might as well. Cute. Skin serum, skin tint shades right now. Definitely not this. Which one was that one? 16. Yeah. So it's no. a little bit difficult right no, now. No, this is 16. So I need to try this. This one looks better. This one is 15. <laughs> you got it on my hand. <laughs> so light and. What is this? It's so light though. No. Did you try this one? Is that too dark? That's too dark. Checking the mini section right now just to see if there's anything that I could use for my trip tomorrow and if it will make my packing a lot less heavy. Right now, I don't know. I can't really think of anything, but we'll see. I'm home now. It's been a bit. It is 10.30 and my goal tonight is to take the best everything shower 
ever so that I feel completely prepped for my trip. My hair is very greasy, so it's hair wash night. I'm going to shave my body and moisturize my body. Also curl my hair so that it looks good for the next three, four days, hopefully. That's kind of like the routine I've been going with recently. So I'll show you guys my current hair care routine because I've gotten a few questions about it on my Instagram because I feel like I have a really good routine now with my curls and I do my curling at nighttime and then I wake up and my hair looks really good in the morning and days after so I'll show you guys how I do that that is the goal so that I look good traveling I look good when I get to London and I look good days after and I can be like as low maintenance as possible the goal is to feel good tonight I feel like I really need a shower I completely forgot to just do my skincare this morning and it was because I slept over at Brandon's house. I realized, let's get into the shower. I will show you guys all the products I use along the way. And I already kind of started putting some clothing on my clothing rack to pack and like visualizing it, but I haven't actually packed yet. So I'll show you guys that in a bit after we do the everything shower. <laughs> I just got out of the shower and I feel so much better. I have been on the fence about whether I want to use self-tanner tonight and I've decided I would because I always feel more confident and it's something that I've been really loving and that I've been really into lately. My favorite self-tanner is by Lux Unfiltered. It's their self-tanning cream and I am obsessed at how natural it looks and just how easy it is to apply as well. I've never tried a mousse, but I'm a little bit nervous because I don't know how to apply it properly, but this self-tanning cream is so good and it doesn't transfer to your bedding, your clothing, anything like that. So I highly recommend. Currently air drying my hair now. It's been a little bit. It is already midnight and I do want to curl my hair before going to sleep, but I'm trying to do some packing. I'm very type. B. I procrastinated planning and packing a little bit. And this is the current situation. I'm starting to feel a little stressed now. This is what I've got going on on my clothing rack here. I feel like I do need to have some more organization with like what actual outfits I'm going to be wearing each day. I have some white tanks because white tanks are my favorite thing. My black and white tube top from Zara. I was going to say Ritzia. This cute little princess polly it's giving like easter egg but it's like a tube top that i feel like would be really cute in ion provence maybe little tank top from abercrombie tees long sleeves button ups of course because they're basic and then i have two dresses here that i feel like would be really cute i feel like this black one would be really cute in paris and then obviously my leather jacket i thrifted this and it's like the best find ever i wear it constantly and i'm obsessed with it i feel like i will be wearing it every day in europe but that's like the situation right now. <laughs> Clothing on my bed. That's out. My tripod's out. And then this. Just kind of all on my desk right now. Which is a little bit of a mess. But we're just trying to make some progress before going to sleep. I do want to have a good night's rest. And then wake up. And then kind of do everything. And pack everything into my luggage then. So if I don't have everything planned out yet. I think it's okay. Because I still have until like mid-afternoon tomorrow. And then I will be starting another vlog for traveling to London. So this vlog will end. A new one will be starting. Okay it's a lot later now. It's 1am and I'm honestly really tired. But I do really want my hair to look good. And I want to curl it. So I'm sitting here on the floor in front of my mirror right now. I found such a good routine and like momentum with my hair. And it just feels really healthy and I don't know I'm just really happy with it lately and my routine that I've been doing so I want to share with you guys I start by putting half of my hair up in a little scrunchy bun situation like so and then I will curl each section of my hair separately I use a clamp hair curler and I feel like this is probably one inch I would say this is like a one inch barrel and I just basically take sections around this big and go around my whole head and curl it to make this go a lot faster I'm gonna speed this up finally curled and what I like to do is put my hair up in a really high bun 
overnight and twist my hair into a bun really kind of in like loosely but like in a way that keeps my hair curled like this twisting my hair around into a bun using a little hair tie trying not to crease my hair as much as possible i like to keep these front pieces out of my bun so that they don't get creased it's travel day <laughs> i'm so excited this is the current toiletries situation i've got skincare and just like body care all of that here i am bringing my ice roller yes i will be um, all my makeup's just laid out here. I'm waiting to film a little skincare makeup pack with me reel, so I'm gonna like do that all at once later. I basically just walked Ollie, and I've been listening to this podcast episode by I Love You So Much Podcast with Kenzie Elizabeth, and it's with Shelby Seiko. It's really good. I'm feeling motivated because they're talking a lot about like routines and habits, but it's not really gonna apply to me because I'm gonna be going on vacation and my routine's gonna be completely thrown off, but that's okay. I've been feeling motivated with this episode. I am just kind of starting to lay out everything on my bed here i have like i showed you guys yesterday still everything here and i feel pretty finalized with this so that's good just thinking if i need another jacket or not because i will be bringing my leather jacket but i feel like i should maybe bring a blazer as well that's kind of the vibe or that's kind of what i've been thinking but we shall see. I will also be filming a reel for packing my luggage with Monos. I'm really excited for that. Something I completely forgot to do last night or the other day was to use these whitening strips, which I feel like I should just use them now before going because I kind of bought them to glow up for this trip. It wouldn't hurt to do it now before leaving. I don't really know how to do it, so I should probably read the instructions first, but why not? I should just do it while I'm packing, I guess. That's better. So they come in these little strips here. I'm gonna link them below. I also have them on my Amazon storefront, so I'll link that as well. But this is my first time trying these. I hope that it's okay. Okay, there's apparently backing liner that I need to peel. This lighting is an amazing. So I just peel this off. Why am I kind of scared? I've heard that they kind of hurt your teeth. But let's see. Okay, this feels uncomfortable. I just did the whitening strips. And I feel like my teeth are whiter. I was planning on doing this last night, but I wanted to trim my eyebrows. I actually already used the face razor to take off peach fuzz last night. And I plucked around under my eyebrow and stuff like that, but I also like to trim my eyebrows. It's so funny because before COVID, I used to get my eyebrows threaded like every month and it costed money, first of all, but also my eyebrows got so thin from it and they never kept them long and as thick as I wanted them to, even though I would tell them I wanted them long and still thick. They would always be thinner than I wanted. So I've been really happy with just thermoplaning, trimming my and then plucking under and then the middle here so I've been really liking that that's what's worked best for me lately they didn't need to be trimmed that much but just a tad and they feel a lot better now my plan is to not wear any makeup on this flight I personally really love this refry brow gel it is my holy grail, so I want to put my eyebrows up and gel them, and then I just curled my eyelashes already, so I don't think I'm going to do anything else. My plan, because it's going to be a nine and a half hour flight, is to apply some Summer Fridays gel like mask. I'm literally at the end, but this will be the perfect amount for my trip. I'm going to apply this mid-flight to my face because I know I'm going to be dehydrated, and I want to keep my skin hydrated and plump. I am basically all packed. I'm filming a reel right now and I am loving this luggage. Like I use the packing cubes. They're mainly on this side, but I'm really happy with this and everything is fitting really nicely. <laughs>